here. Um, that's Stacey Ann Chen. Woohoo! Have you seen her before?
activists, young people whose lives will eventually become fodder for political rallies and ideological arguments. These bodies laying still, not dancing, not smiling, will join the too long list of these victims of mass shootings that happen in America. Too often this happens in America. Too often it has been happening in America to the most vulnerable among us. The most vulnerable among us pay the greatest price and the rest of us are left to ask the question again and again and again. Where, where, where does this healing begin? In the face of 49 lives snuffed out. How do we make sense of such a senseless thing? The answer the answer is what it has always been. We pick up the pieces of each other. As always, we turn left, we turn right, we reach behind us, and we find each other. And we continue to find love. Against these crazy odds, we should revel in the unfaltering ability to be human, to hold each other, to heal each other. That in sorrow we should weep and smile and celebrate the fact of our own breathing. If there was ever a year to wave that rainbow flag, if there was ever a year to wave that rainbow flag, this is it.
in memory of these nearly 50 dead. I dare you to live even louder, to be even more proud of who you are. Let us together lift our voices, our spirits. Let us shout out so everybody on this planet can hear the awesome power of the human heart to choose love, to choose love. I dare you to choose love.